Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to ignore or bypass the SSL certificate errors with curl. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is SSL? So as you can see on this Wikipedia page, the SSL or actually also known as TLS, Transport Layer Security, is a cryptographic protocol designed to provide communication security over a computer network, such as the internet. So whenever you browse the internet, actually you are using SSL in order to prevent security breaches, okay? So as you can see here, the protocol is widely used in applications such as email, instant messaging, and voice over IP, but it is used in securing HTTPS remains the most publicly visible. That's why I'm talking about browsing here, okay? And also, curl, curl actually, if you take a look on the Wikipedia page, so curl is a computer software project providing a library, libcurl, and its command line tool for transferring data using various network protocols, okay? So the problem here is whenever actually are using it, I get an error. So here actually I logged on to my uh, Ubuntu server here. And if I execute simple command like curl HTTPS, this actually expired that bad SSL.com, which is actually a website that using SSL. And if I execute this command, you will see that I get actually this error, which is number 60. So the SSL certificate problem here, enable to get local issuer certificate, more details on this actually website. So here you felt you will find some detailed information. Curl failed to verify the legitimacy of the server, okay? So what happens here is that uh, curl has sent a get request with invalid actually SSL certificate, okay? That's why you get this problem here. But you can bypass it or ignore this uh, errors using actually the minus K parameters. So you can just add here minus K in order to bypass it. Or you can use dash dash and secure so both are the same in order to bypass this error okay so you can see now that i get actually the web page of this website actually so here it's just a very basic web page so we can verify that so if you enter the same url in your web browser you get just a simple actually web page and this is what we get here using the actually curl command. So you can use the minus K or dash dash insecure HTTP expired in order to get actually the result. So we have bypass it actually using this trick. Okay. But what if you want to bypass the SSL certificate system wide? So sometimes you will execute commands that contains, for example, script, and the script generates some system-wide actually requests. So how you can solve that? So for example here, let's try to execute actually script using the curl command, okay? So for example, let me paste this long script, actually it install a program called AdGuard for security reasons, okay? So here I'm using the same curl command, and if I execute that, I get the same message as before, okay? But if I add the same trick, you will notice that I will still have the same error. So here at the bottom, we get the same error, you can see. So how to bypass that? Because here I using curl with scripts. So the trick here is also pretty simple. So all you have to do is to create actually a curl configuration file in your home directory, okay? 
So I will create, for example, this uh, curl configuration file called that curl RC. Here we go. And inside it, all you have to do is to put the insecure command. Okay. So that's that's all. So let's save it. You can use whatever editor you want. Okay. Let's verify that using the cat command. So you have to put it in your home directory and indeed it contains only the insecure command. So now let's try to execute the same script and this time without the minus k or dash dash insecure parameter. And here actually the script will be executed as you can see. It's downloading the package and it is installed. And actually we get everything working here because we have actually bypassed the SSL actually certificate error. Okay. So keep that in mind whenever you want to bypass it for any reason for development or debugging or something else, you can use this trick in order to bypass it. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will not miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.